Um, got anything to say, to say, or? No. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I already know that. Um, actually, ma a man, a few words, I guess. Um, so what's what's your favorite feature in Better of Wolves? Oh boy, my favorite feature. Uh, well, I already told you what my favorite videos are. Yeah. Um, I know. I know. Battle say is is all about the block dispenser, so I won't. <laughs> I won't criticize that in any way. Whatsoever. Yeah, watch out. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite one. Shit. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty particular to the hopper. I think. I I really love the hopper and the whole aspect of. Um, using water flow to to channel items, um, the filter system, all that kind of thing. Um, like to me, it just feels right overall. Um, you know, like within my world, I have um, all these sluices like running from my mob traps and like channeling water. And you know, I, I probably got the most decorative that that I I do in in Minecraft, like with my sluices and actually like you know using panels to create the sluices, so it looks like some you know. Uh, something out of a mining camp in a western movie or something like that, you know, with these channels of water. Um, so I was really happy with um, all the systems that the hopper made possible and, like, how it tied into the mechanical system overall. So, yeah, I'd probably say that's that's uh, that's my favorite feature from the mod right now. And I'd have to agree with uh, you because I, lo I loved your description of it. I, I don't have it pulled up right now, but you, you, uh, I think you said that it was deceptively simple because it's literally just a box with a hole in the middle. Yeah, but, yeah, exactly. But what it allows is just way more, and that's yeah. and the, those are the type of things I love. That are you, you look at them, that's like you, you don't think that it could do a lot, but when you yeah. actually start using and working with it, it's just it's fantastic. Yeah, and that's the, uh, I, I agree a hundred percent. You know, like I, I love that kind of simplicity. Um, you know, like when I, uh, I guess Pistons came out like shortly before I released Better Than Wolves. I might, I might be, I might be wrong on that, but I know the, the Piston mod, um, which I actually never used in the mod form. Um, you know, but when I saw the videos for it and that kind of stuff, um, like the elegant simplicity of that block, I think acted as a lot of inspiration for me in, um, uh, in the overall design of the mod. Um, because I, I thought it was absolutely fucking brilliant when he came up with that thing, you know, like, um, just, just so easy, made so much sense, you know, whatever frustrations I may have with like integrating pistons into the design of better than wolves, like that has nothing to do with my opinion of pistons themselves. Like, I think they were absolutely fucking brilliant. Mm. Um, so yeah, I agree with you a hundred percent. Like, you know, blocks with like multiple subtle uses are definitely a favorite of mine. Um, and it's definitely something that, um, I always try to go for in my designs um, to varying degrees of success. Um, <laughs> and I think, well, no, like everything, you know, like you have good ideas, bad ideas, and everything in between, you know. Mm. Um, and I think, I think the hopper was definitely one of the one of the better ideas that I had along the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I guess next question. Uh, mm -hmm. Given unlimited time, would you advance Steve up to space technology, or is there a technology end point before that? No, nah, man, I, like, there's really no um, end point that I have in, uh, have in mind at all uh, for the mod in terms of technology. You know, like I've, um, I guess I've been a bit harsh on my criticism of other mods um, you know, in terms of technology level and stuff like that, but that actually has nothing to do with technology so much as continuity. Um, you know, like I don't even know what to call like the base technology level of Minecraft, like kind of Stone Age. Um, you know, it's obviously very primitive. You know, like you're you're strapping rocks to a stick and like mining and mm. you know doing this kind of thing, and then there are magical elements that give you. Um, kind of greater technology than you would expect redstone being like you know the primary example of that right but it's magical it's not that it's actually electricity or 
uh, actually digital circuitry. It's like some kind of magical ore that you have discovered in the world of Minecraft that just happens to function like modern digital circuitry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's cool. It's the same thing with like the cauldron and, you know, the fire and the birthing nether rack and the nether coal and yada, yada, yada. Mm. You know, it's like, you know, at a certain point, like the, the laws of the Minecraft world are not our own. Um, so yeah, man, I really like keeping that in mind. I really don't see any limit to, to the technology. I think, um, I think the magical element is a cool one. Like it provides kind of an alternate, alternative world, um, a timeline to kind of technological development in which these huge technological leaps that would take humans hundreds of th- or thousands of years can suddenly be made because, you know, like you managed to find a gateway to hell and, and you're bringing back, like, you know, the substance of hell to aid you in construction. So you're able to, like, enslave souls to create, <laughs> you know, yeah. all that kind of crap. Like, you know, I think that's a really cool element of, of Minecraft, um, that magical aspect, because it allows you to explain, like, these quantum leaps of technology in ways that wouldn't otherwise be possible. You know, it's kind of like the 2001 thing with the monolith. You know, it's like the monolith shows up, and all of a sudden Steve is, you know, firing laser beams out of his eyes. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. So, um, no, I don't see any limit to it, man. Like, I know I know, Notch has described Minecraft as, as uh, Minecraft as a fantasy game before. Um, I really don't subscribe to that point of view, you know, like I, I would have no problem at, at all, like building spaceships into better than wolves and traveling like to other planets, just as long as you had to assemble every single component of the spaceship to yourself, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's kind of what I mean. It's not a question of con- uh, technology level for me ever. It's a question of continuity. Okay. You know, does it make sense given the tools at Steve's disposal? You know? Okay. Um, you know, like I mentioned, like, to people that were, um, you know, following the thread for a long time, you may have remembered a couple of months ago, um, you know, I, uh, we went off on a tangent about Steam in conversation, you know, like, uh, Steam being a cool feature. And I said at the time, I think it was, um, you know, like, if I would ever do another mod, I'd probably try to choose to do a Steam mod, right? Because it's like, you know, a subject that absolutely fascinates me and, I felt that like Steve was on the cusp of that technological discovery, you know, because you have stuff like the furnace carts in the game, mm. you know, which kind of implies almost steam. Like if that thing isn't a steam engine, I don't know exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Even though, like I said, it's kind of a broken feature, it's mm. still, it implies something, right? You're, you're using burning coal to move a cart. Okay. Well, what are you doing there? <laughs> so, um, you know, like that just to say, like I have, no problems building higher technology into the mod. It's just a matter of, okay, well, you know, did the player work to get to this point? You know, like if I include, um, say for example, I came out tomorrow and decided, okay, we're going to have diesel locomotives in the game, right? Well, all of a sudden it's like, you know, this completely like would replace minecarts. So you have an entire system of the game that just became friggin' useless, right? Mm. And it's everybody's building diesel locomotives now, and, yeah, we got huge railways and all this kind of stuff. So, um, but the problem is there, it's like, well, minecarts were a really cool aspect of the game, right? Um, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff that you could do with minecarts. There's a lot of cool systems that you could build with minecarts, right? Um, you know, transportation systems using hoppers and all this kind of cool shit, right? So if all of a sudden I come along, other than besides continuity, if all of a sudden I come along with high technology that like replaces core systems of the mod or of Minecraft, that play experience, that fun is basically thrown right out the window. It may be replaced by something else, something that's cool, but that's gone. That that era of Minecraft is over, right? So the problem with that is is like unless the player has to work to get to that point, unless there's like a long road to get to that point and a buildup of technology and one system requires another to get there and da, 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 da. Well, okay. Well, you, you put a cool new system in that is fun in itself. So you have kind of like a positive fun Delta to the game. You, you included something fun, but you did it in such a way that you also have like a negative fun Delta because you just, you just lost minecarts. 
right? You just eliminated their usage from the game, so all the fun involving them is gone, right? So the thing is, if all of a sudden I just like make this quantum leap in in technology, and I've definitely seen this with other mods, well, all of a sudden it's like, okay, well, I just wiped out a whole bunch of other systems in the game. They're no longer practical. They're no longer useful. Um, I guess conveyor belts would be a perfect example because I keep getting requests for conveyor belts, right? But man, it's like building water sluices is cool, <laughs> right? It's, it's yeah, fun. it's one of it's a another one of my favorite things to do. Yeah, it's fun, man. It's like okay, well, I'm I'm channeling this water and the water's carrying stuff and I'm using the hoppers and all this kind of stuff. And if I put in, if all of a sudden I put in sluices or like that thing came up with the with the ice box, right? That that was another one that I knew like okay, the mod's not ready for this, right? Because all of a sudden water flow is gone. Right, or it's reduced in effectiveness uh, or usage so much that you know people hardly see it anymore. Well, all that fun is gone. It's like okay, yeah, using ice is fun in its own way, right? But it's been included kind of so early in the technological progression that I think a lot of players would just like okay, they boot up Minecraft and within a few hours they have ice and they never touch water flow again, right? Um, so they've missed out on that whole aspect of gameplay, that whole element of fun, and in in a way, I'd almost feel like I'm robbing them of that experience, right? Um, because you know, as you just said, and I just said, like you know, water flow is fun. Okay, so let people have fun with it. Like encourage people to use it. Okay, before I like you know put in conveyor belts or ice transportation, and all of a sudden that's gone. You know, all of a sudden I've just like wiped it out from the game, and people will not use it anymore. And it's like you know, it's kind of sad to my mind. You know, and the same thing if I were to wipe out minecarts or wipe out redstone or I were to wipe out mob traps. Like I mentioned, I'm really worried that's you know Notch is about to do that with 1.8. I'll keep my fingers crossed that he doesn't. Um, but yeah, so it's not even a question of just continuity. Like continuity is definitely important to me, but it's also a question of like not spoiling people's fun in a lot of ways. You know, it's like let them enjoy the systems that are in place. Um, you know, and if they're going to get a replacement, like, you know, hopefully it's going to be the kind of thing that like for the first 20 hours they play the game, they're dependent on water flow to get the job done. And eventually they build up their technology level to the point where, you know, I won't say, yeah, like let's say conveyors or something is possible. It's not one of my <laughs> plan, plans, but it's a good way to put it, you know. Mm. Um, so then maybe after 20 hours of play, all of a sudden they have access to conveyors and they no longer use water flow. Uh, but that's cool because they had all that fun with water flow. It's over, it's gone now, and, you know, we're on to something else. Like you can almost think of it as like a, a strategy game in which you – you know, you start off with, um, say, units wielding clubs, you know, and, okay, well, melee then is part of the strategy, and, you know, melee combat is is what you're focused on. And eventually, with time, you build up your tech tree to the point where you have guns and cannons and everything else, um, but it's taken you long enough to do it that you at least have the gameplay experience of using clubs first, right? Mm. Whereas if, you know, say something like uh, Age of Empires or whatever, right, like, if they just jumped you or made units available at the end of the text tree available to you. Um, so, like, you know, let's use gunpowder units for the example. If they presented to that to you right at the beginning of the game and there was, like, a workaround to immediately have access to them, well, then there would be no point having units with clubs because everybody would jump immediately to the gunpowder units, you know. Mm. So, yeah, that's 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 my, my thing on it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. All right. Uh, um, so so yeah, no, no limits to tech level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just as long as it suits gameplay and continuity, um, and gives a chance people a chance to have fun, like, you know, spaceships, lasers, whatever. I don't care. It's all good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. Um, so we're getting we're hitting almost an hour mark. Holy shit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if anybody's going to listen to this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you may need to do some editing.